this week's uh, craft and DIY project that will be available as a grab bag take home project is going to be embroidery. And I found this project, I really liked it with these little hoops and you can do um, embroidery with it. Do any design you want and you can leave it on the hoop and you could hang the hoop if you wanted to or give it to a friend. Um, the project will include fabric, needles, embroidery thread, the hoop, and there'll be an extra piece of linen fabric too in case you want to make more than one. So I just want to show you a couple of things or ideas in case uh, you don't pick up a grab bag or you have items at home you'd like to use. Uh, I used this um, lid jar for canning as a hoop so if you didn't have a hoop you could use a rubber band and you can use really any fabric. I wanted to show you also that here's an embroidery project I did on a tea towel with a hoop and then here is a project I did on a sweatshirt where I didn't use a hoop at all I just free stitched away. So don't feel limited to just doing this project on the hoop you can completely take it off the hoop and after I'd finished this um, feather, which could be a leaf, <laughs> um, I realized that if I took it off the hoop, I could also put it on a mason jar lid and I could add that um, to the lid if I was giving someone a gift that had a really nice top to it. You'd probably want to put glue in here so that the fabric would stay put with the lid. And the last thing I want to show you on this feather here is um, these are all straight stitches. I did a very simple straight stitch like you would if you were hemming um, an outfit or just it's just up and down with the needle. Uh, I did weave the back of my embroidery thread so that when you do look at it through the light you don't see all the different colors of the thread. So I knew I was going to be putting a vein up the middle so whenever I went to do my next set of stitches I would skip it up along the seam. Um, line there so you wouldn't see it. So that's that project. I also wanted to show you um, what it looked like in progress, some stitches that I was doing. And the orange stitch here is actually a back stitch. So you can see there's a lot more work on the back here. I'm going to show you what a back stitch looks like. And I just did a simple drawing with a pencil. I could go back through and erase it, but a lot of times I just try to do the pencil markings really light so that um, you don't see them when you do the stitching. And what you're going to do is you're going to um, push the needle up from the back. And I move ahead to where the last stitch was and where I want this one to go. And then I go directly into that one stitch and pull through. And I can do the same here along the base of the cat. And then I'll put it right back in. And this gives like a really nice solid line. The thing that I think is fun about this project is that uh, your line, you can do any drawing and you can bring it to life with stitches. So I like that part of it. Uh, the last thing I wanted to show you is on this cat with the whiskers. If you're curious about placement and not sure where you want that next stitch to go, so I'm gonna do a whisker right here. I'm going to bring the thread up and instead of just placing the stitch anywhere, what I can do is take the black and kind of see where I want to put it for the whiskers on the cat, mark it, and then put my needle through the back. And then that way I can see ahead of time how that stitch is going to lie. The final thing I wanted to show you on this project is that embroidery thread when you uh, pull the thread off, it actually has six strands of thread total. And on these two projects, I used, for one color, I used two strands. So instead of actually taking two strands off, I'll take one strand out of the thread here. And then I threaded the needle and put a knot in the end. That's going to give me two strands total with the project, which these are all two strands. 
if I wanted more bulk to the image or parts of it to really stand out, I could use four or three or six if I wanted to. So I hope this was helpful and maybe you'll broaden your horizons and move to other things besides the, besides the hoop. Thank you.